Buhari's government negotiates with bandits but tags secessionists as terrorists. Abari B. Dibusla, Nigeria. Welcome to today's news. Senate Minority Leader Einaya Abari B. has again accused the Muhammadu Buhari administration of being biased on its handling of banditry and the Atman crisis in the north. He claimed that the Buhari government treats bandits and killer adsmen with kid gloves while it uses iron fist for separatist groups. Abaribe, who represents Abia South Senatorial District, lamented the country's state of insecurity during an interview on Channels TV on Tuesday. Nigerian's economy has suffered huge setbacks partly due to COVID-19 pandemic and worsening insecurity. The activities of separatist groups such as the indigenous people of Biafra in the southeast and Marauding Earthmen and bandits in the north have threatened the country's peace and economy. But while the federal government has designated IPOB as a terrorist organization, it has yet to extend such title to prowling Earthmen and bandits who cause mayhem in the north. Abaribi, during the interview, said the alleged double standard of the Buhari administration shows that the government is not prepared to fight insecurity. He said, now this government is very quick to tag the separatists and people who were doing agitation in the southeast as terrorists because they know the implication of tagging anybody a terrorist and every effort been made to these people who are doing all these things in the northeast, in the northwest, and so forth. Why won't you also designate them so that the full weight of international opprobrium will land on them and every effort is made to beautify the world and say is bandit? But when, but then, this set of people have been able to shoot down a military aircraft and it's no longer that. They are just people who are kidnapping for ransom. He said the major problem with Nigeria insecurity is the inability of the government to want to tackle that problem. The single most dangerous is this is this influx of non-Nigerians with military grade weapons sweeping across our country, going into the countryside and vomiting mayhem, but no effort is made to profile them, no effort is made to make sure that there is a counter surge against them. He insisted that all that Buhari's administration has been doing has been doing is an attempt to reach agreement with the terrorists. How do you reach an agreement with terrorists who come in from outside the country trying to take over? He said. During the interview the PDP chieftain said no black Mila gives up give up gives up once the government continues to pay ransom he will continue what he is doing and that is exactly what has happened payment of ransom put the point really is that all over the country we now saw an upsurge of people carrying a military grade weapons following cartoons and then attacking communities doing kidnappings and creating a general state of insecurity and fear he added in 2017, the senator had called for resignation of President Buhari for his alleged failure to address the security situation in the country. Senate, Senate Minority Leader Yenaya Abaribe has again accused the Muhammadu Buhari administration of being biased in its handling of banditry and the adsman crisis on, in the north. Yeah, he claimed that the Buhari government treats bandit and killer artsmen with kid gloves while it uses iron fist for separatist groups. Abari Be, who, rep who represents Abia South Senatorial District, lamented the country's state of insecurity during an interview on Channels TV on Tuesday. Nigeria's economy has suffered huge setbacks partly due to COVID-19 pandemic and worsening insecurity. The activities of separatist groups such as the indigenous people of Biafra in the southeast and marauding earthmen and bandits in the north have threatened the country peace and economy. But while the federal government has designated IPOB as a terrorist organization, it has yet to extend such 
32 prowling artsmen and bandits who caused mayhem in the north. Abari Bay, during the interview, said the alleged double standard of the Buhari administration shows that the government is not prepared to fight insecurity. He said now this government is very quick to tag the separatists and people who were doing agitation in the southeast as terrorists because they know the implication of tagging anybody a terrorist and every effort being made to these people who are doing all these things in the northeast, in the northwest and so forth, why won't you also designate them so that the full weight of international opprobrium will land on them and every effort is made to beautify the world and say it is bandit. But then this set of people have been able to shoot down a military aircraft and it's no longer that they are just people who are kidnapping for ransom. He said the major problem with Nigerian security is the inability of the government to want to tackle that problem. The single most dangerous is this influx of non-Nigerians with military grade weapons sweeping across our country going into the countryside and vomiting mayhem but no effort is made to profile them no effort is made to make sure that there is a counter surge against them he insisted that all that buhari's administration has been doing is an attempt to reach agreement with the terrorists how do you reach an agreement with terrorists who come in who come in from outside the country trying to take over he said he said during the interview, the PDP chieftain said no blackmailer gives up once the government continues to pay ransom. He will continue what he is doing and that is exactly what has happened, payment of ransom. But the point really is that all over the country we now saw an upsurge of people carrying military grade weapons, following cattle and then attacking communities, doing kidnapping and creating a general state of insecurity and fear. He had it. In 2017, the senator had called for resignation of President Buhari for his alleged failure to address the security situation in the country. Personally, I, I, want, to, I want to know if this is actually a joke, if the government is actually taking us for granted. Indeed, they are taking us for granted because what the, what, what the president of the nation should address is not is not addressing it what he should what he should do is not doing it there are there are there are many primary assignments which a president of a nation should do why would you why would you declare a common secessionist agitators as a as um as a terrorist while kidnappers while others a full and others carrying um army ammunition around following cartels while you refuse to declare them as as a bandit as a terrorist are they not are they not are this government not taking us very granted it is really unfair and they know the wrath of god is on them too as well well i have come to the end of today's news thanks for listening enjoy your day